Chris was murdered. I was with Dennis. He was upset. He'd been drinking. He, he wasn't at all like himself. What did you say, Paige? Well, he said a lot of things that day. That I was like Iris, for one. Well, that's not what bothered you. No. He said something else. Something that frightened me. What was it? Dennis said that he had a score to settle with Chris Shaw. I think you should speak to Paige. What are you up to, Mom? Up to? Yeah, you've never taken Paige aside before or right now. I've given this a great deal of thought, and, and I think I've been mistaken about you and Paige. Does that mean I'm up to something? Knowing you, yes. It pains me to see you so distraught. And since I can't seem to help you, 
I thought maybe Paige could. I'm simply asking you to speak to her, Dennis, not move back in with her. Talking to Paige about to solve anything? Words are cheap. Oh, is that any way for a rising reporter to talk? Look, don't try to humor me, Mom. It's pointless. Dennis, words can be very powerful sometimes. Promise me you'll think it over. I can't talk to someone I can't trust. Now, I'm going to believe anything Paige says again. Perhaps not. Perhaps talking will only make you more certain that separation is the best thing for both of you. But at least you'll know you've made an effort. You've tried. I know Paige hurt you deeply. But you can't keep that hurt bottled up inside you forever. Why, Mom? Are you afraid I'll turn out like Dad and locked up in a hospital? A shameful blot on the great family name? No, Dad. I'm not talking about Elliot at all. I'm talking about the hurt you're locking up inside of you. I'm talking about how it will gnaw away at you for a lifetime. I better be leaving. You don't have to call Paige right away. Just think about what I've said. 